good morning students i hope you all are perfectly fine today we will start the first chapter of your supplementary reader that is vistas the third level so we are doing the third level to understand the genre of uh, science fiction so science fiction is a genre in which impossible is shown as possible uh, like edgy uh, wells novels a time machine where time travel has been shown as a possibility uh, that means uh, characters can travel back and forth in time and the effect of insecurity means we have a sense of insecurity that we will be attacked any time will die any time will lose our job any time uh, war in uh, war uh, we face massive devastation and uh, this story uh, is of a time when world war was around means it was about to happen and people had that sense of fear a uh, fear is a feeling when you feel uh, have this consciousness that you will have a major loss or of your mind but all these feeling collectively affect human mind which reacts in the sense of uh, taking uh, some escape so that taking some shelter so that there may be some solace some comfort about jack finney is the author he is an american author he started his career as a short story writer his greatest success came with his science fiction novel time and again this is also about time travel he explored the theme of time travel he is popular for clear depiction of uh, city life we'll see in the third level how he describe the third level uh, third level uh, here is the level of a grand central station like there were two level but uh, the central character charlie travels to the third level which uh, according to the highest authorities of uh, railway does not exist so his work the third level was published in 1952 in the magazine of fantasy and science fiction this was one of the very popular magazine of its time in america the theme of this uh, story is seeking escape owing to insecurity we have already discussed insecurity the consciousness that you uh, may lose uh, your possession of war and worry of the modern world man's longing means uh, strong desire for natural landscape means we uh, wish to live in a place uh, which has lush green gardens big trees and there is a social interaction where people can uh, ventilate their feelings express their thoughts their emotions and feel at ease and uh, this is what is shown through the science fiction uh, that uh, uh, how out of hobby one seeks a shelter from reality how uh, because of the negativity in uh, surrounding one wishes to escape to the world where there are social gathering people are interacting there is joy there is fun there is a sense of security there is no fear and nor any worry so let's talk about the characters uh, if we talk about major characters there are two one is charlie spence and another is sam uh, the psychiatrist is his friend so charlie is the narrator of this uh, story we see everything through his words he has hobby of stamp collection means in his free time he does stamp collection hobby generally we say is anything that we like doing in free time it complete meaning is anything creative anything new that we want to do in free time or we like doing in free time like craft work painting uh, writing poetry 
has strong logical sense. Whatever he says, it has a logic behind it. It has a reason behind it. If he was uh, told by a psychiatrist friend that uh, you did not go to the third level, it was actually a dream uh, come true or it was a waking dream wish fulfillment. It was just your imagination and you want to escape from the world and your stamp collection points to it. Charlie says, no, it's not like this. My grandfather started my uh, hobby of stamp collection. At his time, everything was perfectly fine and he was not taking refuge from anything. So why would I seek a refuge from uh, anything and how could my hobby uh, points to it? Advocates his position well. He puts forward his position well. When he was uh, explaining about his visit to the third level, he does mention he went back in time giving the evidence of a newspaper because he comes across a stack of newspaper, a bundle of newspaper and uh, the bundle was of the world. The name of the newspaper was the world and the date was 11th June 1894. So that way he made his position stronger in front of his friend saying that he actually went to the third level. Practical minded. He when went to the coin shop to have the old style currency which was used in 1894. Although he paid $200 extra, extra but he did not bother. Why? Because money had more value at that time thinks holistically thinks on all the aspects that if he uh, goes to the third level his life would be uh, financially better mentally easier he was sensitive towards his wife when uh, Louisa comes to know that uh, he uh, had visited the third level and she was worried he did not uh, look for the third level anymore he values third level over the modern world because third level was more secure it was happier as i told earlier it would have settled him better financially because money had more value at that time sam the psychiatrist a psychiatrist is one uh, who specializes in mental disorder uh, he was skeptical doubtful he and would uh, never believe charlie's words that he uh, that charlie had gone to the third level he too was logical because he believed that if Charlie collected stamps, that means he was seeking temporary refuge from reality. And his uh, saying that he had been to the third level was nothing more than his imagination. He was presumptive. He would always presume that Charlie, if he is saying this, it has this reason behind it. Means if he is saying that he had been to the third level, it was just his imagination. He was victim of humdrum of modern world, that noise, that congestion, that showy uh, aspect of the modern world. That is why towards the end of the story, we come to know that he has given all his money and exchanged all style currency because he missed the peace that was there at uh, 1894 uh, in Galsburg, Illinois. And he misses on peace mental peace and social interaction why when you interact socially you feel emotionally ventilated means you express your feeling of sadness of joy of anger and you are lighter inside although he uh, specialized in mental disorder but he himself was somewhere suffering from tension and negativity an escapist he goes to the third level he goes to the galsberg lns so he escaped from the insecurity war fear and worry of the modern world in the 20th century world values mental peace over everything means over money over modernity over position in the 20th century he was psychiatrist in the uh, 20th century but in 1894 he was in haystack business. So that was about Sam and Charlie.
So there are two minor characters. We talked about major characters. Now the, let's talk about the minor characters. So two minor characters are Louisa. She is Charlie's wife and Charlie's grandfather. Now let's talk about Louisa first. Louisa is uh, worrisome. When she comes to know that Charlie had been to the third level, she doesn't want to, uh, him to look for the third level anymore because she had uh, this worry that she might lose uh, her husband. Uh, curious, uh, she, although she was worried that her husband, husband had been to the third level and he shouldn't go uh, again there, but she wanted to know about it. Irritable. Irritable is one who could be easily irritated. So Louisa could easily be irritated when uh, uh, Sam, Charlie's psychiatrist friend says that Charlie was unhappy. Louisa feels it is just uh, because of her. Uh, this is what Sam, Louisa thinks meant uh, or means to say. So she was irritated. Uh, he, she supports her husband looking for the third level. When both of them come to know that uh, Sam had gone to the third level, they both were so keen uh, to go to the third level that Louisa, along with her husband, Charlie, uh, look for uh, the third level. In the text, you get the expression, uh, now we both are looking, both mean Louisa and Charlie. Uh, Charlie's grandfather, he is a hobbyist. Uh, he practiced philately, that is stamp collection was a stamp collector, lived in a time of peace and healthy uh, social action, uh, interaction. Uh, that is in 1894, when there was no fear of war, people had a long evening, there was healthy social interaction, means there were joyous conversation, songs, partying, and uh, no negativity or frustration. Let's discuss the key concept. Uh, G-E-N-R-E, -E, this uh, word is pronounced as a yonere, or some pronounce it as yona. Its correct pronunciation is yonere. Uh, so the yonere, that is the type of work of art, is science fiction. So generally you uh, talk about movies and you say tragedy, comedy, action. So that is a yonere. In a science fiction, impossible is made possible. So what is impossible? Uh, like man without any, uh, say, technological support flying in the air, we humans growing invisible, we going, we are traveling to the past, we are going to the future. So that is impossible, but this is made possible. Like aliens coming to the world, if possible, made possible. You all must have watched the movie uh, like uh, The Invisible Man. Uh, then you must have watched the movie The Time Machine, where the travels uh, go back and forth in time. Uh, H.G. Wells' Time Machine is an example of science fiction. And this genre characters travel back and forth in space and time. Back means in the past. Uh, space means some place in the past, in the past time, and fourth means in the future, similarly future in the present time. So if you say uh, in Jalandhar in uh, 2025, uh, you go to 2025 uh, today and then come back to 2020, so that would be uh, science fiction. In this story, the central uh, character uh, Charlie Spence steps down to the third level of the Grand Central Station. So what is the Grand Central Station? We've talked about it. This is the uh, name of a railway station back in time in the year 1894. So this is traveling back in time. This is moving across space. That means going to the third level of the Grand Central Station that is moving across space. Going to that year 1894 that is moving across time. So this we generally uh, see in life uh, does not happen. So that is why when it is made to happen in literature, it is called science fiction. Fiction means it is fictitious, it is not uh, reality. A level which did not exist in reality. Philately, a hobby of stamp collection. 
when waking dream wish fulfillment you desire something so strongly that you hallucinate about it hallucinate means you visualize you feel that it is physically there when it is actually not so this experience is called hallucination and this act is called hallucinate that is to hallucinate it's a verb Uh, let's discuss some more key concepts. Hobby is an escape route because it provides temporary refuge from reality. So this is something that Sam says. So hobby we have already discussed is something creative you like doing in free time. Is an escape. Escape means you go away from the situation which you don't want to face. This shows that you are an escapist. So hobby gives you a route, a passage, a way which helps you avoid the situation you want to face. It may be pessimism, it may be fear, it may be some danger. Temporary refuge from reality. Temporary means for the time being. Refuge means shelter. Reality here means harsh reality. If it is temporary, means for some time you can take the shelter, but ultimately you have to come back. Modern world is full of insecurity. Before understanding insecurity, let's understand security. When you feel that you are secure, you feel you are safe. Secure means you cannot be attacked. You cannot be harmed. Insecurity means opposite of security. You are unsafe. You can be harmed. You can lose your job. Like we are today living in the world of insecurity where we feel we can be harmed, we can be infected. And if infected, what will happen? And this thinking gives us tension. War. Now what is war? A war is massive destruction. Multi-layered destruction. So in war, not only buildings are destroyed, not only people are killed, but families, emotions are also damaged and worry. Insecurity and war together cause a tension, a worry. So modern world is full of uh, insecurity, war and worry. So these are the negative aspects of the modern world uh, discussed in the story. Indirect comment on congested life of modern world. Directly there is no mentioning modern life is congested. That means everything is so clogged and fixed. So houses are small, lawns are small, trees are uh, very thin. It's not being told directly. But there is an indirect difference to Galsberg Alienus, where uh, which has no socialization. We all are so busy, we all have so pressing should you so socialization has lost its place and large gardens so there are there is no socialization there are no large gardens where people could gather and vent their feeling where people could gather in galsberg Ellenis in 1894 people would have long evenings long evenings there doesn't mean evening gets long uh, hours. It means a long time of interaction, enjoying, say, lemonade, songs, healthy conversation, where there is less of criticism, more of joy, more of happiness shared. So this is missing in the modern world because this is highlighted so strongly by Charlie when he talks about Galsberg Ellenus. There is long garden, uh, fireflies around. Uh, people are singing songs, the trees are so thick and their roofs, me uh, their leaves uh, meet overhead or their branches meet overhead and uh, ladies are waving palm leaves. So this is being talked about. Grand Central is compared to a tree because it frequently leads Charlie into new doorways. So as tree has, uh, has uh, surprising roots in different directions. Similarly, Grand Central has. Means every uh, Charlie 
was bumping into a new uh, phase means sometime he is uh, entering a different place sometime another whenever he takes that uh, shortcut from the grand central station there was nothing good about going to jail even in 1894 charlie was giving the ticket window clerk uh, that old side of currency so old style of currency which uh, was not in use in 1894 so the clerk must be thinking that uh, charlie was cheating him so he could have sent him to jail so that is why charlie comes back that is the last uh, dialogue because charlie was using currency of 20th century that i have told you he could have been taken as a cheater and thrown behind bars means sent to jail so another and important uh, key concept is first day cover it's used by hobbyist hobbyist is one who lives his hobby who does something creative in free time uh, in the first day cover they pay stamp on the first day of issuance of a stamp on a self addressed envelope and mail post it to themselves means on it their own address is written the post mark on the stamp proves that it has been used on the first day of the issuance purpose of sam's letter to charlie its purpose was to inform charlie that he has reached the third level sam has reached the third level life is pleasant here so pleasant that charlie should keep trying this is another evidence that third level of grand central station actually exist so through the science fiction the author jack finney makes us believe through these evidences that whatever he is telling is reality but it is a science fiction we must keep this in mind impossible here is shown as possible and to making is it possible he is giving evidences like the newspaper the world its date this letter okay so let's discuss some important signs of the third level of grand central station so there were fewer ticket windows information uh, booth that is inquiry or made of a wooden frame uh, man were, uh, were wearing green eye shade means eye protector long black sleeve protectors uh, open flame gas lights were there brass spittoons on the floor spittoons are jars in which people spit people wore a round uh, thick hats uh, they wore four button coats uh, it was uh, style of uh, that time of uh, 19th century and tiny lapel lapel was the collars of coat men were bearded means uh, beard was at fashion uh, in fashion at that time and had big mustaches uh, rail engines uh, was very small like courier and ice with funnel chimney shaped stack the money was of old style means uh, half the size of the money of modern times 